Hey, it's Renee, just hanging out, checking out some of my tarot decks. I just got this one in the mail. It's the Circle of Life Tarot, and it is a Los Garabeo deck, and the artwork is by Maria De Stefano. And I've just been kind of looking through a little bit. The box is amazing. It has um, the two side pieces so that you can um, open and close it really easy very sturdy. You know, I got this circular deck. It's my first circular deck. Veronica Jude was talking about um, using circle decks with the major on major spread. I will post her link below to that video. It's, it's amazing. Um, you have to check it out if you haven't already done so. So I've been just kind of scrolling through this deck and I'm already going to tell you I absolutely love it. It comes with this really nice um, book. And it's 96 pages. It has some color pictures. It goes through basically um, the circle of life description. And it talks about the deck itself. And then it goes through... Um, the major, minor, uh, arcana, and so forth. And um, so I want to read some more on that. Let me show you the deck itself. <laughs> now this this deck is a really good cardstock. Um, it's not too thick, it's not too thin, and uh, it's shiny, it's laminated, but very lightly. The one thing I'm absolutely loving about this deck is the mandalas on the back. Isn't that just amazing? So beautiful, so colorful. And then um, what I'll do is, since this deck is so amazing and beautiful, and I have a little bit of time, I hope you do too, um, I'll just go through the Major Arcana cards so you can get a look at it. This is the Fool. Look how beautiful. Um, instead of a dog, it's a cat. I like that. And look at this magician. It's an Asian magician. There's a cup and he has a staff, um, which I guess that depicts the rod. And then he has a sword behind him and a pentacle there. Beautiful. And look at this high priestess. Isn't she gorgeous? There's so much symbolism I haven't really gotten down into it, but um, I want to read the guidebook and get into the symbolism. There's so much going on in, in the graphics. The Empress, isn't she beautiful? Gotta love these mandala backs. And the Empress. I love that the Emperor and the Empress look like they could really be together. Some decks don't really show um, compatible looking emperor and empress. And these are definitely look like a hot couple. And the Hierophant. He is awesome. He has a scroll and a goblet. It looks like stained glass behind. And these lovers are amazing. Looks to be a serpent surrounding them. It's kind of a reference to Adam and Eve, I expect. Or suspect. I expect to suspect that. And the chariot. It's kind of unusual looking chariot. One of my favorite cards for the Libras, Justice card. She has her scales and her sword. She's a mermaid. And we have this hermit. I love this hermit card. The colors used are so morose. Um, he has his book of knowledge. And the moon is the light that lights his way. 
I'm just cloaked in dark, mysterious colors. And I love this wheel. There's so much again going on. There's a lot of, um, there's like a squid it looks like. Um, there's scales. There's Scorpio, Scorpion, there's Crab. It just looks like all of the zodiac symbols depicted. There's Pisces, the Ram, Capricorn. Yep, they're all there. It's beautiful. The Archer. I love the strength card. She looks strong. She's taming that lion. And she's got dreadlocks. That is so cool. And it looks like to me the hanged man is a hanged woman. I know in some decks they can be hermaphrodite, but this definitely looks feminine. Look at that tree and all those roots. Isn't that amazing? And the death card. I love the colors, the greens, the blues, and the snake, and the skulls. This is actually a lady holding two infants, which is a weird depiction. I'm going to read about that in the book. I was reading a little bit about it. Um, the And that was, to me, that was um, a very unusual depiction of the devil. I mean the death card. I don't know why I said devil. Um, the death card. It's a woman holding a newborn child, but it looks like there's two, um, two newborn children in that picture. And she sits between two skulls under a waxing moon. A snake protects everything in its embrace. So, yeah, that's deep. There's some more messages in that, but I won't go so far as to read those. And Temperance. Temperance is so beautiful. It has that Asian look with the Fu Manchu long Fu Manchu. And he's pouring the water back and forth between the two cups. And he has wings. It's an angelic being. Now this is the devil. He's a horned being. And he has all these people chained by the neck. Oppression is... The word that comes to mind that is a beautiful deck a beautiful card what's wrong with me tonight yeah that that was pretty pretty impressive and the tower there's not a lot of color going on on the tower it looks like two winged beings and um, the crumbling tower I don't know if that's a black moon in the back. And the star. Star of David. It's beautiful. And again, there's a pouring of liquids out of two vessels. I love this moon card. Shows the different phases of the moon and this beautiful sea creature. This lady. Looks like she's holding the world. And the sun. It's a sun warrior. She has a lot of tattoos on her legs. And, um... 
sort of like a bird bird skull headdress. Very cool. And judgment. Another winged animal. A uh, winged being. I won't say animal. Standing on the earth. I'm I'm trying to say this looks like a a horn that he's blowing. It's wrapping around the earth. Beautiful. And the world card. I love this card. I love anything with rabbits. She has wings. There's a lion. It looks like a wolf. Another scorpion right there. Raccoon. A lot of wildlife. A couple of birds. It's beautiful. Okay, so again, um, this is the Circle of Life Tarot. Check it out. It's a brilliant, brilliant um, deck. I'm loving this whole deck. Um... I'm not sure how it shuffles. I'll practice that. But do check out Veronica Jude's um, video. I'll post the link below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.